Hi, I'm Dr. Amir Kasim, Director of Clinical Policy at the American College of Physicians. The American College of Physicians has issued a clinical practice guideline for the diagnosis and management of stable chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In this brief video, I will be discussing the implications of the guideline for physicians as well as for the patients. ACP developed this guideline in collaboration with three other physician organizations, the American College of Chest Physicians, the American Thoracic Society, and the European Respiratory Society. COPD is a major healthcare issue. It is the third leading cause of death and the 12th leading cause of illness in the United States. Many patients do not get appropriate care and the deaths from COPD continue to increase. For physicians, the purpose of this guideline is to help them diagnose and manage COPD, prevent and treat exacerbations, reduce hospitalizations and deaths, and improve the quality of life of the patients with COPD. We recommend that spirometry should only be obtained to diagnose airflow obstruction in patients with respiratory symptoms and not in patients without symptoms, even in the presence of risk factors such as smoking. For stable COPD patients with respiratory symptoms and FEV1 between 60% and 80% predicted, we recommend that physicians treat these patients with inhaled bronchodilators, but the evidence is limited. In patients with severe COPD, that is FEV1 less than 60% predicted, we recommend that clinicians prescribe monotherapy using either long-acting inhaled anticholinergics or long-acting inhaled beta agonists. Consider a combination of inhaled drugs if symptoms continue during treatment with one drug. Pulmonary rehabilitation is recommended in symptomatic patients with severe COPD. And finally, in patients who have severe hypoxemia, SpO2 of less than 88%, consider oxygen therapy. COPD occurs predominantly in cigarette smokers. In patients with COPD, the airways are narrowed and making it difficult to breathe air in and out. COPD symptoms include chronic cough, and this can be with or without sputum production, wheezing, shortness of breath, or significant air activity limitation. If individuals have these respiratory symptoms, especially difficulty in breathing, the guideline recommends that physicians use a breathing test called spirometry to make diagnosis of airflow obstruction. First, it's important for doctors to help those who smoke to stop smoking. We also recommend that doctors treat patients with COPD by using inhaled drugs that help to relax airways of the lungs. And in patients where treatment with one drug does not work, combination of drugs using those drugs that help to relax airways of the lungs or drugs that also decrease inflammation may be helpful. Pulmonary rehabilitation is also helpful to, uh, in patients uh, who have severe activity limitations. And finally, patients who have limited oxygen or low blood oxygen levels, even during rest, oxygen therapy may be beneficial. Smokers without COPD should quit, not only to decrease the risk of COPD, but also the risk of other serious potential complications of smoking, such as lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, and then it's, it's, it's never too late to stop smoking. And if you don't smoke, please don't start.